OM20 P11 question 3. P and R are coplanar vectors. If X equals to P minus R, oh yo, when you see minus, please be very careful what the minus means. Okay, which diagram best presents vector X? Hmm, where do you even start? How do you even start? First, let's not worry about those and focus on the, the equation that they gave to us. P minus R. How do you even draw P minus R? So the other way you can draw this is X, or rephrase this, is P plus a vector, which is minus R. How is this different? Well, you see, when you have a minus in front of a vector, you are going to reverse the arrow. So if this vector here is r, how would minus r look like? Minus r would be the same magnitude, but in the opposite direction. So I just drew it over and I can take it out. This here, my friends, is minus r. Okay, minus r. Now how do we uh, find out what is x? x is p minus r. Okay, so I need to think of ways to do p minus r. p is going to be this one. I'm going to redraw it so I can move it around. And I need to rearrange these uh, arrows tip to tail. What does that mean? means I cannot do this because their tails are pointing together. No, no, no. So I need to rearrange them such as the head of P is the tail of R. Ah, you start here, you follow the arrows, you end there. So my resultant vector, which is X, should start here follow, 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 and end here. So this will be my resultant x. So I need to look for an x among these arrows that point in that direction. So straight away I can see b is not going to be correct because this, what's this? Wrong. How about a? a looks plausible, plausible. Mm-hmm, okay. Uh, the troll is, they didn't reverse their r. I, but never mind lah, because you know you are, you have to reverse it. Okay, so me right here is minus R, is P, but X is in the correct direction, so I'm I'm okay with that. But let's check the rest just in case. So the other other things, oh my goodness, what is happening? Why is your X so big? Wrong. Why is your X so big? Wrong. Something is not quite right here. I think what these guys are doing is, let's look at C. What do you think C is? I can't really tell what C is, it's just wrong. Ah, wrong lah, wrong. D la D. Oh, I know what they did for D. They did P plus R. Yep, they did P plus R. So this is R. So if you do P plus R, you will start here, go to P, go through R and end here. Yep, so that's how you can check. So yeah, all this by just looking at their length, not going to be correct. A is the best choice. So remember, in exam, you, you can move around rulers. I mean, you can draw, try and redraw a few diagrams and see what is the best way to represent this vector x, which is known as the resultant vector. Okay, so that's all for this video. I will see you in the next question.